Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. purpose that's more important than goals I'll tell you the difference and my purpose is to live to the best of my ability a fulfilled life I really mean that to experience life to the fullest I mean, these things might sound like a cliche, but if you really think about them, that's what that's what's all about: is to live life to the fullest. Yesterday, I was 18. A few minutes ago, I was 30. And maybe in a few hours, I'll be 60, and then 70. And who knows if I make it to 80. And if I'm lucky, maybe, if I'm lucky to 90. So it's really going fast. So my purpose is to live life to the fullest. Now, that's easier said than done. For many reasons. But it's the only challenge. I don't see any other challenge. I mean, what else is there to do but try to live life to the fullest? You're here anyway. So what do you do? You're here. So while you're here, you might as well do the best out of it. Especially that you don't know when you're going to leave here. And if you're not sure where you're going next. Who knows? But it's not easy. I'll tell you why it's not easy. Because life in general, life in general, is not easy. Survival is not easy. Staying alive is not easy. Nature is against you. Diseases are against you. Viruses, bacteria are against you. Time is against you. You're becoming older by the second, by the minute. You have an expiry date. All of these are against you. Weather is against you. Not you personally, but that's the rule. That's the rules of life. That's the. These are the concepts of physics. There's a very important um, rule or law of physics. I think it's the second law of thermodynamics, which is called the law of entropy. A law, uh, law of entropy means, uh, you know, many things. The main meaning is that everything over time will degenerate. That's one of the meanings. So everything will end, will disintegrate over time. So that applies to you. It's not a personal thing. So you have that to face. Add to that, you have the nature of your psychology, not just the physiology, not that nature. So the first challenge is nature. The second challenge is your body. God knows what's in your genetics, what diseases you will face. Who knows? The third element is your your psychology, your shadows, your demons, your scars, your wounds, your wounds, the nature of what makes our psychology. That's also a challenge. Your dreams, your nightmares. It doesn't matter who you are. There will be days where you wake up sad, angry, depressed. You don't even know why. Because of something that you dreamt, because something happened in your subconscious or hap- is happening in your subconscious while you were asleep, or that is going in parallel to your conscious, you know, something go- is in your conscious is going in parallel to your conscious, and that's not nice. That sp- special thing is not nice. So all of these are happening, and that's part of life. Fair, 
that's the most useless word when it comes to you know physics and chemistry and understanding the nature of life and reality we created this concept it is what it is gravity is gravity there's no fair or not fair that's how it is so life in general is a challenge relationships are a challenge because of the complexity of who we are and because of the complexity of living in society having a family is a challenge I'm not saying this in a depressive way or a negative way but that's the nature of reality so to say that I want to live life to the fullest I want to maximize my experience of life or living is not an easy thing this is a major thing and it's the top priority because there's nothing else everything has to fit under that umbrella now how do you do that that's the process of consciousness and maturity that's the that takes you know knowing yourself understanding your uniqueness knowing your strengths and weaknesses knowing what makes you special in terms of your experiences and talents and your composition and your formulation and knowing how to make the best use of that reality of who you are so that you can maximize your experience of life in the best possible way now to do that you have to have targets and that's zooming in into your purpose that's that's the tactical aspect so you have to have targets you have to have objectives you have to have goals all of that comes under the big title of having a fundamental macro purpose in life so you have to have financial targets and objectives you have to have uh, social targets and objectives you have to have uh, professional and career targets and objectives you have to have developmental targets and objectives and goals so you have to have all these landmarks these phases in your journey these points on the map on the road map of your journey so that you can optimize your life and that takes maturity and that takes learning and that takes failing and that takes messing up and that uh, takes exper experimenting and that takes uh, getting things wrong and that takes fixing things and that takes involves pain and disappointment and suffering and happiness and success and celebrations and dancing and laughing and crying and smiling the entire spectrum you put all of that together you have one word life that's what I try to do every single day I try why because it's not easy why because it requires learning and maturity and consciousness why because is there anything else to do there's nothing else to do it's to have meaning for your presence on this beautiful planet meaning it's to love and to experience love is to give and take love is to serve is to add something beautiful it is to stop yourself from doing unnecessary creating unnecessary mess for you and for others it's not easy but it's an amazingly exciting journey it's an amazingly exciting journey this journey that we call life living your life to the fullest means living as authentically as possible that in this journey that you have on this planet it's really you who is living this journey underline your life living your life to the fullest so without authenticity 
you can't have fulfillment because what does fulfillment mean fulfillment comes from comes from the word full so you have to live the fullness of yourself now what does yourself mean yourself means your true self means your personality means your talents means your challenges means your interest means what you talk what talks to your heart means what makes your heart dance means what makes your eyes cry means what connects with your core means what connects with your soul that's what it means to live your to be yourself that's what it means means to be authentic to your own challenges to your own realities to your own weaknesses so that you you know how to deal with them and turn them into you know lessons and a learning adventure to live life to the fullest means to embrace life with everything that it means through your authentic experience through you i'll give you another example how does it feel if you wear somebody else's eyeglasses how does it feel you don't see clearly take somebody else's eyeglasses you know with the filters they have the medical condition they have medical glasses you don't see things clearly when do you see things clearly when you wear your own glasses the glasses that reflect your own reality your own condition it's you're seeing life through you so what is the challenge here the challenge here is to get to know yourself as much as you can and that is a difficult journey at the same time it could be a simple journey depends how you approach it it's a difficult journey because we're so complicated that there's no bottom to the depths of our psychology we still don't understand how the brain functions we don't still don't understand what we really mean by saying the mind by we don't understand what consciousness means we don't understand how the mind works in a subconscious way we don't understand dreams we don't fully understand emotions we don't really understand how we think we have theories but we don't really understand we're trying and we're making progress but it's so complex and complicated the human psychology so complex now if you take it to metaphysical level if you want to go to spirituality you know if you transcend the physics and the metaphysics or go into the metaphysics then it becomes even far more complicated but even if you stay within the realm of what is tangible you know what scientifically can be held through evidence that's even that is complicated so the journey of in general journey of knowing yourself has no end you can live 5000 years and do introspections every day and still you know be in your journey of searching to find out who you really are however there is a simpler way and i tell you what the simpler way is look at your life look at your relationships look at yourself and read your emotions well read your feelings well and see the interpretation of these feelings on your life well if whatever you're doing or saying if it's making you feel better over in a sustainable way if you're making you feel more peaceful relax from inside and not just i'm not talking about superficial feeling if it's making you feel that you're more in peace or at peace with yourself that you really want to stay more in that space right so do more of that in your relationships do more of that in the way you interact with other with yourself with nature do more of that at work at home in society just do more of that and when you feel that you're suffering there's pain things are not working then that's a signal then that 
a signal, an, an alarm signal, an invitation for you to investigate, to ask yourself, what's going wrong? There's something that's going wrong. Something is not going right so that I'm suffering in my relationships. Something is not going right so that I'm suffering in my life. I seem to be continuously failing. I seem to be stuck in the same problem, be st stuck in the same you know, cycle of failure. I seem to have the same problems at work, you know, repeating themselves. In my personal life, my social life, my you know, professional life, my family life, my spiritual life. So something is not going well. And you have signals that signs that show you that so focus on these things and try to understand what is it that you're doing that you that is contributing to this or that's creating this or at least you know playing a part in making it happen because sometimes it's not totally you're, you're making so when you have that kind of awareness then you have the starting point of doing something about it so that you can fix yourself you can learn a new habit, you can unlearn a bad habit, you can look at things differently, you can change the way you interact and you know, have a relationship with others, you can you know, do things differently until you start feeling in a better way. So that, all of that together, that journey uh, will lead to what? To you understanding yourself more. So that as you understand yourself more, as you know yourself more, you use that knowledge to maneuver your life so that you spend more time in your journey in happy places, in relaxed places, in peaceful places. So to maximize your experience of life means maximize the amount that you spend in peace and joy and harmony in this journey of life. That's what it means. And it means knowing how to do that. And one of the one is what's one of the first mechanism of doing that is to go to get to know yourself better. That's why I talked about authenticity. That's why I said if you want to live a fulfilled life, experience life to the fullest, you have to start with being authentic so that you can know yourself and you, you know how to interact with others and find your place, maximize, build on your uniqueness, put it in the service of others, give love, take love, find what talks to your heart, have meaning, have a purpose, have a cause, have something to look for, and make the best of the few years that you have on this planet. There will be days where there will be storms and sometimes scary storms. What do you do when there are storms? Do you think about fishing? You don't think about fishing because there's something that's more important than fishing now. And what's that? And that's staying alive. Did you create the storm? No. Did you cause the storm? Did you plan for the storm? No. But it happened. What else do you have except staying alive when there's a big storm, if you're a fisherman? There's nothing else. That's your main challenge. The only thing you can control in a storm is how smart and wise you are or you act because if you're not acting in an intelligent and wise way guess what happens you drown or your boat will sink not only that if you're the captain of the boat everybody sinks everybody drowns if your children are with you helping you they also will sink with you. They also will drown. So much depends on how you act when there is a storm. When life puts you in a survival mode, 
because of conditions that are beyond your control you have one purpose and that purpose is to survive and in that moment survival is the biggest achievement not catching fish is the achievement not the quantity of the fish is the achievement not the quality or the nature of the kind of the fish is an achievement if you caught sardines or whales doesn't matter there will be times where just making it alive when times are tough is an achievement by itself and if you manage to do that if you manage to do that if you acted in an intelligent way if you acted in a smart way if you acted in a wise way if you were strong enough emotionally mentally if you had the necessary skills to make it and you manage to come home then that's alone that alone is a reason for a party because you've just given yourself another life and if there were people with you and you were in charge of those people you've given these people another life so life is like the weather it has it goes through all of these seasons and definitely in these seasons there's going to be one harsh one harsh phase it's either a very you know tough winter or a dry season or very tough summer and if you're living even if you're living in a place that's you know spring every day you might get some seasons of fires or volcanoes or earthquakes so bottom line is there's no escaping from the tough reality of life that alternates with some beautiful moments of life as well what's the formula when it's a beautiful time what do you do you enjoy and you capture every opportunity at a personal level professional level relational level you catch as many fishes as you can and you jump in the water and you swim and you do a sunbathing and you do sun tanning and you do whatever it takes to enjoy you know being alive have fun catch fish save for tomorrow improve your condition there is a word for that it's called growth grow as much as you can but there also will be times where you are at the survival mode and then your challenge is clear just stay alive you and people around you people whom you love you care about stay alive if it's a company you and your staff and your organization stay alive if you're running a, a country you and your countrymen your country people stay alive if it's a family you and your family people stay alive and for that you need to be strong for that you need to be wise for you not that you need to be smart and for all of this you need to be flexible you need to be adaptive you need to learn how to change your mind you need to learn how to you know how to learn you need to learn how to stop making silly mistakes you need to there's a complete art into how you do that but in the end the challenge remains the same it's a survival challenge listen that's how it is it's non-negotiable in life you're in two on two modes in one of two modes you're either surviving or you're growing in any situation absolutely give it your best give it your best there's nothing else to do thank you for listening to the michael cooley podcast please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email we would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode and remember to follow michael's continuous learning insights on social media